you know, we've been covering the news for a long time, but this is a first a shooting over a guacamole at a crowded restaurant with tons of people eating and in line. It's hard to believe, but we talked to witnesses who saw it all firsthand. Take a look. Chaos at Chipotle. A customer shoots an employee. It was loud, and then we all just ran out because it was, yeah. I mean, wouldn't expect to, uh, I wasn't really thinking about there was going to be a shot, but there was. It happened shortly before 7 o'clock Friday night at the Chipotle on Evergreen in Southfield. Witnesses say it all started out as an argument over food. A source close to the investigation says it was specifically over guacamole. I was just eating a bowl and I heard shouting and then I look over, they're arguing. The One of the workers went to the back, I don't know why, and then when he was in the back, the customer walked around the counter, tried to grab his food and put it in a bag. Um, and then the employee came back and they started fighting and then we heard a gunshot and just ran out as quick as we could. The employee, a 21 year old man shot in the leg but expected to survive. Meanwhile, the suspect. He took his time getting out. He was probably 30 seconds after it. I was in my car and I saw him just walk out to his car close the door and just drive off like he didn't he didn't speed off or anything it was it was weird to see police arrested the 32 year old man in a parking lot not far away customers who witnessed it all not surprisingly in shock that's not something you would expect like ever I wasn't really thinking I was just trying to get out of there after I heard the shot because it, it got real all of a sudden I still really have not processed it uh, it's gonna take me a while for sure it's I mean it was very scary such an incredibly bizarre story. Now, of course, they closed the doors as soon as police got there. Uh, once 911 was called, the scene was secured. But we talked to people who came to either pick up food that they'd ordered or just to place an order, and they were shocked as well to find out what had happened. Meanwhile, no word on whether or not the guy took his food on his way out. I'm sure more to come on this one.